quiz where we are testing two celebrity teams on their knowledge of our royal family. So in our next round, we're going to meet some people who've actually rubbed shoulders with the royals. And like the rest of us commoners who have to settle for rubbing a teacup with a royal tea towel. <laughs> Let's play Right Royal Fibbers. <laughs> You are up first, and please welcome Grant Harold, who is the former butler to the Prince of Wales. <laughs> Wonderful to have you here, Grant. So, um, who have you looked after in the royal family? I looked after Prince of Wales, Duchess of Cornwall, and Princes William and, and Harry. Really? Mm. And what is expected of you as a butler? You're almost kind of a personal assistant, so you've got to be able to turn your hand to everything, including laying up tables, which have got to be done in a very kind of strict manner. So you've got to make sure that cutlery is measured exactly on the table, about an inch from the edge of the table, glasses are put in the right position just above the main course knife. Would they really care if you got that wrong? I think they would. I think the Queen's very well known for having a final inspection of tables, making sure that everything's in the, in the correct place. Ah, and do you have to run the baths for them? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I don't, but I'm very good at running baths, so if you ever need me to run a bath, I'm... I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> That's what that, yes! <laughs> <laughs> OK, now, teams, Grant is going to tell you three stories about himself and the royal family. Two of these things are true, but one is a big, fat lie. Mm. So your mission is to fish out the facts from the fiction. If you do that, you earn yourself a point. OK. Grant, please read out your three stories about yourself. OK. So, the Queen and I flouted royal protocol when I danced with Her Majesty in her 80th year. Mm -hmm. Or, the first time I met the Queen, I almost trampled on one of the corgis. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, every day, I would iron the shoelaces of the Prince of Wales. So there they are. Which one of those is a big fat fib? I think, I think you did dance with the Queen. <laughs> because I think that, you know, you seem like a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the Queen has, like, she's like, got a twinkle in her eye and stuff. We're going to disagree. I think that's outrageous, he danced with the Queen. Really? I'm outraged. What? <laughs> well, so you just don't, you don't dance with the... I'm amazed if he did do it, that he's still in his... Well, you're not in the job anymore, that's why you're here. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's, you it's, feel really strongly it's, about this, don't you? It, I just don't think the Queen would, would dance with mm. a butler. So I don't want to put you down. I'm just... No, <laughs> I think on. he definitely irons the shoelaces. Really? I think that could be quite therapeutic, actually. Yeah, because even if it's not necessary, he probably does it to... It was Prince Charles's shoelaces. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So is he saying, it's like, could you read my speech in architecture and you're finding things to kill time? I'll, I'll do the shoelaces, actually. <laughs> um, trampling on a corgi totally is true, do you think? I think that's a possibility, because obviously she's got... Loves the dogs and they might, you know, if they're around and stuff... Why don't we go with you, but I really blame you if it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, two or three. The shoelaces, then. Fine. Shoelaces. OK, Grant, can you reveal to us which mm. is the false statement amongst those three? I did not iron the Prince of Wales's shoelaces. Oh. 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 I so thought I was going to do it. Congratulations. So, Grant, you did dance with the Queen? Absolutely. I, I, I was the dancing butler. I got the opportunity uh, in 2006 to go to Bamoro Castle and dance at the Gillies Ball, which is what yes. the Queen has every year. Wow. And I got to dance with the Duchess of Cornwall. And when we finished dancing, we stopped. And I remember the Duchess just suddenly kind of staying where she was. And I remember thinking, what, what's she looking at? And I turned around and there was the Queen directly behind me. And I thought, right. And the music started up. And we started dancing. Oh, I you know? love that story. I love it. Did you take her in your arms and sweep her? No, no, she did that to me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> lovely. Grant, thank you very much indeed. It's so thank lovely you. to meet you. Grant Harrells, the Royal Butler. <laughs> Congratulations, Regal Reds. You are our winners. And it is time for you to be crowned. So, Jenny and Grant, would you please... Do the honours! are tonight's king and queen of the right royal prince. <laughs> and our losing team are merely commoners, banished <laughs> to resume their existence as mere mortals. But thank you, thank Jody you. and Joe. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny.
Thank you for watching. And God save the Queen.